First element we're going to look at is the magazine's cover. The main image to note on this cover is the 1960s band The Doors. The image is a low-key image with the band's lead singer Jim Morrison in the foreground connoting his importance. The rest of the band members only have their faces showing, but Morrison is seen in a medium shot, further emphasising his importance. Morrison is depicted naked from the waist up. The preferred reading of this is that it connotes his reputation as a sex symbol and an ideal self for the male reader. Possible negotiated reading, however, would be that he represents an ideal partner for a gay male gaze. The next element we're going to look at is the masthead. The masthead is the title and logo of the magazine. It's one of the most important elements of a magazine's house style. A magazine's house style is its distinctive look and design that differentiates it from its market competitors. This magazine's masthead is a record collector, connoting the fact that the magazine is aimed at a niche audience of audiophiles who collect records, especially vinyl. The masthead is written in white so that it contrasts with the black background. It's written in a strong, simple, masculine serif font that would appeal to older male audiences. Next, we're going to look at cover lines. Cover lines inform the reader of the magazine's content. This is for record collectors' 10 cover lines. The main cover line, The Death of the Doors, anchors the meaning of the main cover image, according to Roland Barthes' theory of anchorage. Beneath this is a pull quote. This is a quote pulled from the article which further explains what the article is about. The word The Doors is written in the same font as the band's logo, whilst the pull quote is written in italics for emphasis. Beneath this is written The Survivor's Tale, connoting the fact that the article is written by one of the surviving members of the band. This is followed by the author's byline, which is the name of the person who wrote the article. The cover line at the top of the page reads Psych America, referring to the 1960s psychedelic music. This part of the cover line is written in uppercase, bold art deco font to give it an old fashioned look. It is written in red to contrast with the black background. The rest of the cover line is written in an orange sentence case, sans serif font to make it stand out from the black background and includes alliteration. Exclamation marks connote drama and excitement. The cell line is anchored by an image of a psych album cover. The image is at an angle to connote drama and has a drop shadow to make it stand out from the background. Because the magazine was released in December, the red sans serif capitalised cell on the left of the page connotes a roundup of the year's albums, DVDs and books. The less important cell lines are at the bottom of the page where they are less likely to be seen on the shelf. They are written in white to contrast the black background. They use a capitalised sans serif bold font. Each cell line is separated by a star. This part of the house style and connotes the fact that musicians listed here are stars. On the right of the cover is a round banner. It contains a cell line that denotes the fact the magazine contains an exclusive offer. The words exclusive offer are written in a capitalised, bold, serif font and followed by an exclamation mark to connote excitement and importance. The text is in white contrast with red banner, where it also connotes drama. The cell line is anchored with an image of the album that is on offer. The magazine's pugs are on the bottom right of the cover. They consist of a barcode and a dateline. It is the convention of the magazine industry that magazines released in one month, in this case December, are dated a month later, in this case January. The dateline gives the magazine's month of publish and is followed by an issue number and price in sterling, denoting it is only for sale in the UK. Beneath the barcode is the magazine's cell line. The cell line sells the magazine and helps to establish the magazine's identity and house style. In this case, the cell line, Serious About Music, is trying to distance record collector from more frivolous, celebrity oriented magazines aimed at younger readers. Beneath the cell line is the magazine's web address. This is an example of cross-promotion and cross-media ownership.